Hello, CCers. You are looking at a picture of the periodic table of elements. We will become very familiar with this once we get to chemistry. But for now, we are just going to have some pun. For weeks 16 through 18, we are going to memorize the first 12 elements and their symbols and their atomic numbers and their atomic masses of the periodic table. This is how they will be written on this video. You will have an element and then a little picture, but I didn't draw a picture here. The atomic number will be at the bottom left-hand corner. The atomic mass will be in the top left-hand corner. So for all of these atomic numbers, numbers one through 12, I have a silly little acronym to help us remember the order. Here it is. And I have little mascots. Look at, look at Belle and Happy Hippo up here. Here is our acronym. Happy Hippo lives beside Belle's cottage near our dear friend, Noble Nellie McGee. And if you looky here, you can see Happy Hippo lives beside Bell's number five cottage, number six, near our friend, Noble Nellie McGee. And that's number 12. So that's how you can remember the order one through 12. Now, there is a little trick that will help you calculate atomic mass. After you get the order of the elements, here's a little trick to help you. But there are some exceptions and I'm gonna point out the exceptions first. Hydrogen has a little X, this is an exception. Beryllium has an X, this is an exception. Nitrogen has an X, this is an exception. Now, let me explain what I'm talking about. What is an exception to what? How to calculate the atomic mass. When you see an atomic, uh, an atomic number that is an even number, if you multiply it by two, that is your atomic mass. That's an exception. Six is an even number, multiply it by two. 12 is our atomic mass. Oxygen, we have eight. Multiplied by two is 16. We have 10, uh, this is neon, 10. Multiplied by two is 20. Magnesium, 12. Multiplied by two is 24. Now, the trick with even numbers, you take your odd, I'm sorry, your odd number, with your odd number, you take your odd number, multiply it by two, and add one. This is how you get the atomic mass for the odd numbers. Look at here, five times two is 10 plus one, 11. That's an exception, nine multiplied times two is 18 plus one, 19. 11 times two is 22 plus one, 23. This little trick works for the first 20 elements. Lucky for us, we have to know the first 12 and we are going to use this trick as well. Now, I bet you're wondering why I have all of these super punny pictures. Well, let me tell you. H stands for hydrogen. So I have drawn a hydrogen blimp. Well, if you know anything about a hydrogen blimp, it was not a very good idea. And it went, it had a very rocky flight. and it crashed and it blew up because hydrogen is extremely reactive and extremely flammable. Not very, very smart to put it in a blimp. H, hydrogen for hydrogen blimp. That's how we'll, we will remember this. And this is number one atomic number and it's, it's an exception, so the atomic mass is one. Our next element on our periodic table, the atomic mass two is helium. And we think about balloons because they make us say, he, 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 they make us laugh like helium. Two times two, because it's an even number, is four. 
Number three on our atomic, on our periodic table, sorry, is Li. This is lithium, and we want to think about a lithium battery lifting us up. This is an odd number. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. Uh-oh, we have an exception here, but BE stands for beryllium, and beryllium sounds sort of like B really yum. So think about that bee searching for that flower so that it could get a really yummy drink. So bee really yum. Atomic number is four. Atomic mass is nine. And remember, this is an exception. Oh, B stands for b -b -b boring. And here, atomic number is five. This is an odd number times two. Is 10 plus 1 is 11. B -b -b boring, boron. This might be my favorite. This one, C, stands for c -c carbon. And if you see, I have a picture of a car wearing a bun. Car bun. Get it? Car bun. <laughs> and this is the atomic number is six times two is 12. Carbon. Now let's check this one out. This one is nitrogen. And I drew a picture of a DNA strand, DNA for nitrogen. Because nitrogen is a major part in what makes up our DNA. Nitrogen is one of the most commonly found elements in the entire world, and a human body is made up of lots and lots of nitrogen. So it's all in our DNA, N, nitrogen. This is an exception. Atomic number is seven. The atomic mass is 14. Our rule, our trick does not work here. O stands for uh, 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 oxygen, open wide, uh, 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 uh. Atomic number is eight times two is 16. Next we have F. F stands for fluorine. Hmm, fluorine sounds a lot like fluoride, which is found in our toothpaste. And this is some scrumptious looking toothpaste, if I do say so myself. Fluorine fluoride. Atomic number is nine. This is an odd number. Times two is 18 plus one is 19. The next one that we have is N-E, neon. Look at all these neon signs. We have a new neon sign. We have a neat neon sign and a next. They all start with N-E. So this is a good way for us to remember neon, N-E. Atomic number is 10 times two. This is the even number times two is 20. This might be my second favorite one. N-A stands for sodium. Do you know what has sodium in it? Salt. So somebody says, hey, do you want some sodium? And you answer, nah. And look, the little salt shaker is so sad because you don't want any sodium. You want sodium? Nah. <laughs> the atomic number is 11. This is odd. So we're going to multiply it by 2, which is 22 plus 1 is 23. Our last one is magnesium. And look at our sweet little magnets. Our M and our G, our two consonants, are just so magnetically attracted to each other. Our M, G is just so attractive to each other, they just bumped the A and magnesium right out of there because they want to be together forever. Magnesium, M, G. The atomic number is 12. This is an even number times two is 24. And there you have it, folks. The first 12 of the punniest elements out there. Happy learning.